Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to talk about how the human reproductive system has changed. Specifically, we're going to talk about the female system. Here is a side view, and you can see there's a lot going on here, a lot more than I remember. There's about four changes in here. Uh, one you've probably heard about many times is the um, bones down here that are the tailbone now coming wrap back, wrapping around like this, uh, providing some protection. That is an older ME. Um, this one I've noticed just today, the ovaries now are typically depicted quite large compared to the fallopian tubes. Um, and you will see that that is on most photos now. So the photos, I mean most um, images now. So the images have changed quite a bit. Uh, another thing that's changed here is uh, this kind of confused me. Many places are labeling this here as the pubic bone. Um, and the, uh, the clitoris here is actually attached now to the pubic bone. We'll go into this pubic bone thing before. I do remember there being a pubic bone, but uh, it, it kind of sounds like there won't be um, that word anymore. It's starting to go away now, but you still will see the bone uh, labeled on a lot of these side views, although this one doesn't have it. Okay, the one thing that really caught my attention here was this one, the urethra. The re urethra now has its own exit point out. Now, I only remember there ever being two holes here. One was the vagina and one was the anus. Uh, the urethra used to connect over in here to the edge of the vagina and then would come out. And this was one of the things that I would often hear was that um, sperm motility would be affected by the acidic environment of the pee. Um, so this was used to be an additional thing that the sperm had to deal with. Uh, that's no longer the case. It has its own exit now. Overall, there's just a lot more complexity in here. Another thing is the bladder looks huge now. I think it was more back up in here before. Uh, you didn't used to see it in the side view so prominently like this. Okay, so let's, uh, this one is really surprising me. So basically there's two holes in here now. Um, if you could crane around your head to see that far, but you can't. This is a bottom view of it, vaginal opening. Now there's this tiny urethral opening there. I actually saw this mentioned um, somewhere on Reddit, and I was like, what? Okay, so that's what caused me to uh, look in the first place. All right, now let's talk about the pubic bones. Um, as I mentioned over here, this is often labeled as the pubic bone but I was a little bit confused about what bone that even is now. Um, I looked it up, and most places do not call anything the pubic bone. They call the region the pubis. Uh, this is called the pubic symphysis, which is a new thing now because the, um, the whole hip region used to be one solid unit, but now there are these two um, sides to it, and they are attached together by the pubic symphysis. So that's an older ME. Uh, this one image here calls this area the pubic bone. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that got way down here. It looks like it's up here in this image. Um, most images have no labels for the pubic bone. The other thing that you may notice is that the few images that do label this as the pubic bone, they just have it as a singular, B-O-N-E. Uh, here it is, there's plural, there's one here and one over here. These are separate regions. So there are two pubic bones now. Um, this is talking about the, the symphysis here, right? This is the symphysis region, which is a, a cartilaginous attachment region that it seems to have gotten bigger from when I've been first noticing it, too. The pubic symphysis is a cartilaginous joint that sits between the, and joins the left and right superior rami of the pubic bones. So you can see here it does mention the pubic bones, and there are two of them now. So it used to be just one pubic bone. Uh, I actually don't remember the pubic bone showing up on any of these images in the past either. But uh, the clitoris now attaches to the pubic bone. I'm not sure where that is going to be going. There's probably going to be some purpose to that, but I haven't figured it out yet. So basically there's just a lot more going on here. You've got this region here with the attachment. Uh, you got the way bigger bladder and the new urethral opening down here. Um, the uh, There's been a lot of changes here. Also, this one now. Let's talk about this one. Let's see. There we go. 
all of the images almost are showing these really large ovaries and a lot smaller fallopian tubes. I remember the fallopian tubes as being this big, long thing and then the little bitty ovary down there. Um, a while back, people were talking about these extra attachments here with the ovaries. I do remember just uh, one attachment, um, the places that show the attachments now often show two, although it seems like there's less of the images showing two attachments now than there were maybe six months ago. So let's just kind of look, see how huge they almost all are showing the ovaries quite a bit bigger, uh, the fallopian tubes quite a bit less stringy and long and ridiculous looking than they used to be. Um, I've actually been waiting for this one to change for quite some time um, and I had not seen it until just now. Um, granted, it's been a few months since I've really looked, but you can see the ovaries now are huge. Um, not A lot of the images are no longer showing that second attachment. This is a little bit more like how I remember. It seems like that second attachment is sort of going away lately. Anyway, but the, the ovaries now are huge, or the fallopian tubes are smaller, but I think it's actually both of those things. So yes, lots of changes. Um, I didn't know the male anatomy as well. So I can't really comment on that one as much, but I have been keeping an eye on it. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.